Hello, my dear young students. Happy to see all of you again. Welcome again to the digital learning platform. Today, in this session, I would like to recap, revise the contents which have been uh, done in the previous session. In the previous session, I started off with uh, after 20 years. A story, wonderful story written by O. Henry, wherein I introduced you to the author and uh, to the contents of the lesson. In today's session, I would like to introduce you, introduce you to the various characters present in the story, the theme of the story, and uh, a brief analysis of the story. This is Professor Krishna H.S. from Government First Grade College, Kadgodi. Today, I'll be taking you through another session of learning of this wonderful story after 20 years. Yes, uh, let me now begin with a recap of the story. Uh, we did some very interesting things in the last session. We came to know about uh, the pen name, the pen name of uh, William Sidney Porter. He is uh, called as O. Henry, that is his pen name, which has been using for uh, making contributions to his writings of uh, very interesting short stories. Uh, and this gentleman, O. Henry, was born in Greensboro in North Carolina, United States. His unique point in writing is his stories have plenty of anticlimax and they are very popular for their surprise findings. And the story after 20 years also is one such story wherein one can enjoy the suspense which has been there at the end of the story. And the story is a meeting between two very close friends. But after a very long gap of 20 long years, 20 long years is pretty much, pretty much gap, wherein people really don't even remember who the friends were. But this is quite an extraordinary kind of a story wherein uh, the friends haven't forgotten each other. The friends remember and they remember their commitment as well. This is the, the speciality of this story. And they are very eager to tell how they passed the last 20 years. And now coming to the characters present in this story after 20 years. We have the two prominent, most important characters, which is Bob and Jimmy Wells. Bob is a person with some kind of a shady dealings whose identity is not very clearly described in the, in the beginning so as to keep the suspense about job, about Bob. The character of Jimmy Wells, who is shortly called as Jim, he belongs to the police department and he has been given the task of arresting a wanted criminal from Chicago. He is on the lookout for this criminal and he has been given this exclusive duty to arrest the criminal and uh, Jimmy Wells is on the lookout for this criminal. So both of them don't know who they are. Bob doesn't know who is and what is Jimmy doing and Jimmy very well does know something about Bob. But that is towards the end. Now there is one more character, a man, a tall man in the long overcoat. Then there is a policeman 
in the beginning of the story who keeps doing his patrolling duty in the night time at 10 o'clock and he is doing his duty very honestly he is checking out the different doors checking out the different places of business and he is trying to find out why this gentleman Bob had been standing there at that point of time. Now coming to the theme of the lesson. What is the theme of this lesson? It is quite clear that there was a pact between these two childhood friends. Bob and Jimmy were childhood friends. And the pact they had made, the commitment they had made was they would meet exactly at the same place and at the same time 20 years down the line 20 years down the line is not a very small time but still the bond of friendship was very strong and they made it a point to meet after 20 long years the commitment was definitely very strong and very much intact and at the appointed meeting time place and location now a policeman is walking up and asking bob what is he doing there and bob explains that he is waiting to meet his old friend and now the officer the policeman they are convinced and they walk away bob is now left there waiting for jimmy wells and now the as the story progresses we come to know that bob is indeed a person who is wanted by the police why is he wanted he is a person who is wanted for various criminal charges against him and let us see does friendship override the rule of law this is the point of contention in this story. Now let me summarize the story here. Now the, the author, O. Henry, is actually named William Sidney Porter. The pen name is O. Henry and he has been given just one page to write New York uh, World. In the publication, he has been given just one page space to contribute and this was very crucial for him to be a successful short story writer. And here the story revolves around the relationship between two friends, Bob and Jimmy Wells, and they made it a point to honor the pact, the commitment that they had made 20 long years back, that they would turn up and they would meet and spend some time with each other recalling the past 20 years come what may their commitment would certainly be honored now to test your comprehension of this session i have a few questions the first question is the story after 20 years this is based in which of these places? New York, Washington, San Francisco, Oregon, which is the place here. The places is New York. And New York is the place where these two guys, Bob and Jimmy, were supposed to meet. The next question is, who was the original policeman? Now we have Bob, Tom, Jimmy Wells. So Bob, as I told you, was a dreaded or a wanted criminal. And uh, we don't have a character called Tom here. And Jimmy Wells is obviously the, the cop, the policeman who is appointed to nab the criminal who turns out to be Bob. The next question, 
Bob replies to the policeman that he is waiting for whom? Is it for his wife, for his sister, friend or brother? Bob replies to the policeman that he is waiting for is waiting for his friend. And who is the friend? It is Jimmy Wells. The pact between the two friends after uh, was after 20 years to meet at the same what are the options here? At the same place, time, or both place and time, or none of the above, A or B, whatever it is. So the right option is, they had decided that they will meet at the same place and at the same time. And last question for this session. O. Henry is famous for writing what kind of a write-ups? The short stories, the novels, the poems, the epics. O. Henry is famous for writing. Yes, he's very well known for writing short stories. And the New York world. The New York world was very crucial because the New York world gave him an opportunity, but a limited opportunity to write in just one page and so he became a successful short story writer and uh, you could use the link here for further references and uh, to get more information on uh, Henry and the lesson after 20 years. Thank you all my dear young friends for joining me and uh, hope this session was uh, fruitful. Thank you all.